Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for the last instance of Yakum. That's right, Yakum 03. Uh, let's give it a go, see how it goes, and uh, see what we can make of this. Uh, this is uh, the third of uh, the the trilogy. I don't know if there's ever going to be more, uh, but here we go. Uh, no information to be stated, but yeah, a uh, fairly, fairly standard square map, which is most lovely. We are going to be starting in this bottom right corner. Uh, it does not look like there's too much to be built on this sort of safe side, I suppose. Um, we do have an emitter doing 10 every one second on this side, and we have a, you know, here's our green R. We have some green R over here as well, so we have some green R supplies. Uh, this side is a bit bigger. I mean, we can see some 200s. Those are definitely quite larger, so uh, probably do a holding point right here. Do we have a connection right there? It does not look like we are connected down there, so that's a, a good thing, I suppose. Uh, so we're not going to be able to cross over to this hill or anything like that. Uh, from there, uh, we also have the top, well, the middle side, which is where the strongest is as well, the 300 and 350, uh, with a dark tower. And then we have the north side, which is the lighter side. So sort of hold our base, uh, take out the top, work our way around, take out everything, and then come back for the center. That's the, uh, as far as I know, the intended path. And, you know, we're probably going to be going through pretty much the intended route for the most part. Uh, that being said, I do want to get my, what is it, what is it? It is the map indicator. Huzzah, map indicator. We are going to be starting down here. Uh, and the goal itself, as well, is always to get our initial setup going, right? So we're going to need you, this, this, and this. Uh, I think I'm going to start by going up. Uh, to get this, then go down, because I'd rather this make sure this is flooded by the thir I mean, by the 30 second mark, we can definitely do both. Uh, but just make sure both of these are active by the 30 second mark, and then we'll make our way up to the other two. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just get this going. It always takes a little bit for the uh, AC cursor to start. Uh, as we can see, uh, it's not quite... You know, the ball isn't necessarily rolling quite yet. But it'll get there, it'll get there. It's starting to go already. Right. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we can already hear all of the destruction being had, and all that glorious, gloriousness of the <laughs> of the elements being destroyed. There we go. We have our seeding done, our initial seeding, and we need to get our butt moving because the breeding is happening now. I don't think we're going to get there in five seconds, which you know it's a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, I would love to, of course. Ooh, I missed. Just a little bit. So next on the goal list, uh, once we seed all of our uh, lovely, lovely breeder zones, which we now have seeded that one, we have one left to seed, of course, uh, and ideally sort of protect this uh, this pathway, right? Because uh, this is uh, the danger zone already. So we have some danger zone coming in. Uh, from the tiny little path. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, I missed seeding this. That was my fault. I should have been a little bit faster. Too much talking, not enough other stuff. Seeding that would have been quite nice. Uh, we are going to want to hold this. We are going to want to hold this, of course. And ideally, I want to hold as much of this as possible to begin with, right? Uh, I want this to be completely safe. Um, down at the bottom, honestly, I am not worried in the slightest. That is a very, very weak emitter, and I think once things get built, that's honestly just going to push on its own. So that's just good news for us. I want some of these things built, so this will be able to defend itself, especially by the, uh, <coughs> by the breeder itself. I want that to be on our side, of course, uh, not the enemy side. So let's make sure all of this gets built. We're still in the deficit, so that is hindering things, of course, and... You know, it is what it is. Uh, it looks like things are pretty much built. Energy is looking much better. I'm just going to spread this around just a teensy tiny bit just to get some more uh, power. Because, you know, more power, more good, more good, more better. All of that. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, this is just naturally pushing back. Ooh, maybe there is a little connection down there. Uh, okay, so it is slightly connected. Uh, so that is, uh, that's something. We could definitely take that out. And I think maybe that's what we will do then. Uh, since since that's there, if we can get some ground, that won't hurt. Plus, uh, they're not really building too much in terms of uh, units over here, so yeah, we're not they're not pushing that hard. Again, it's a the teensiest, tiniest emitters. Let's see how how thick it is on the other side. It's it's doing okay. Uh, we definitely will want to hold it though. 
right? So let's uh, make sure there's the mortar there. That should hold the uh, hold the line, as it were. Uh, so that is quite good. Uh, maybe we can even push this line across. Let's see. Looks like we are able to do some pushing. We are at the creeper limit as well, which is very good to hear. Uh, very good for us indeed, because the creeper limit means uh, anything more. It, it's easier to push, right? I mean, we could theoretically go for the 200s and things like that. The problem with that is just there's so much area that we'd have to get through. Uh, it does not look like they're actually building any joining towers over here, so maybe we can't. Okay, so no connection uh, looks like. I'm sure there's probably a pylon or something, but no, no official easy connection. So we're just going to ignore that for now. Uh, this again, breeding for us. Very, very good. Let's uh, let's go across the path, right? I mean, we we need to get our show on the road, take things out, and work on that. So the question is, I guess, I guess we go straight for the emitter, uh, take out just as much as possible, see where our connection point is. I'm assuming we should have one. Oh, fingers crossed. But it's not looking too promising. Although, is there a pylon somewhere? Because there definitely should be a connection point on this side, of course. Uh, for it to go. So let's uh, just hug our edges, see what we get. Maybe it is this top side, because we want to be building as much as possible. Uh, building is fundamental, right? I mean, we can start getting some units, some units can hold. That's all that truly meant. Ooh. Oh, was that the connection point? Oh no, my blindness. The connection point was over here. Ah, uh, geez. Okay, so the connection point was right over here. It's connecting to that one. Makes sense. Uh, I just missed it, so I was thinking it might be that northern one, but I think there we go. There's our connection point. Once we get a, uh, a lovely little... Let's, let's, let's go back to that. That'll be easier. Oh, so much nicer. There we go. Already getting a mortar down. That's going to be all we need to, uh, to really push against this. This is going to be a pretty easy push, I think. Again, it's, it's a 50, which is not terrible. I mean, we had a... A 10 every one second as our starter ones. So that's that's definitely terrible. And the 50 is not going to be pumping out that much because, again, uh, you know, creep is coming out of everywhere. So this is actually essentially almost nullified already. Uh, it's just a matter of let's start let's start building some things, and that's entirely what we're doing. Right? Let's let's build these bad boys up. Uh, we're already getting the first cannon built over here. Once we get these things right at the emitter. Uh, with the nullifier, of course. I mean, it, it's all over for this event, right? So we've essentially established ourselves. Uh, Should have saved that cannon. But you know what? Hey, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the power is coming slowly but surely. Uh, we'll get these two cannons safe and secure, and then uh, everything else will just push back on its own. We'll get some nice power over here. Uh, I don't remember if they had very many, if at all. Uh, units uh, that were being built, uh, but we definitely want the breeder, of course, right? The breeders are the key areas involved, uh, but with the nullification, we really don't have anything generating creep in this squat area, so I'm just going to push straight up and get to this mountainous range, right? You know, uh, the creep should essentially be slowly dying off, although every 30 seconds, of course, the breeder will kick in, so you know, breeder problems, but everything else, I mean, you can just see we are actively pushing in. They're sort of closing the gap behind us a wee little bit. Actually, more than I was expecting. There's more creep here. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we just need something to help us push, uh, which, should be, which should be a cannon or two. Also, spreading out that, uh, the point of incursion uh, always helps quite a lot, right? Instead of just doing a straight line, you do sort of this uh, sweeping arch, uh, and there we go. We're going to have a pylon, we're going to have a cannon, uh, we even had the mortar shooting down, so it's already looking that much better. Uh, the pylon system is going to be super helpful. Uh, let's make sure we have all of our power over here, which is good. And I guess, you know, cut to the wall. Always good to hold your walls, as uh, I've said as well. Hold your walls, hold your edges, hold your high grounds. That's, that's just what's important, you know, uh, because... That is what keeps the creep at bay. Keep making this a, a solid line like this is substantially stronger than having it sort of dip in and out. Uh, because then our units can just uh, push back on their own against a single line versus getting surrounded and all of that good stuff. Uh, so this mortar going to be very good. This line progressing smoothly. So yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty decent. 
Uh, I still want to get to this mountainous range, though, and I am kind of uh, forcing that issue a bit more than I probably should, especially with you know, units being actually built. Uh, <laughs> units being built is just a better thing. Um, although the cannon got built. Don't care about the mortar. As long as one thing gets built, uh, everything else will soon follow in its wake. So this cannon is going to be amazing. It's going to get us the power to here, which should connect straight up if this works. And it does. So we'll get our high ground. We'll cut this in half and easily be able to start working towards the, uh, the zones on the side, right? So easy peasy. No problems whatsoever. And again, also with the creep coming down from the top, it's just quite nice as well. We just want to make sure this connection stays. So that is that is the big point. And these mortars coming down will just uh, be the big victory. Uh, we have a few seconds, and unfortunately it's not going to work in our favor because the breeding is going to happen. Uh, but we got, we got a little bit of it. We got a little bit, and I ooh, need to need to restore this safe zone, uh, especially as the mortars start kicking on. So, power is looking fine. Uh, honestly, they don't even need the, uh, <laughs> the miners, uh, to be fair. Uh, I, I did figure this would uh, push a little bit faster with the cannons and things that were working. Uh, but no, it is, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we definitely will get that, and I guess we should just cut this off. Make this, again, just cut it to the wall, give them a solid line, not let them get surrounded. It'll be good. And make sure that does not fall as well. Perfect. We're even going to get another mortar out of it, which will push back quite easily. There we go. Easy peasy. The solid line hits, and that actually pushes this out naturally uh, because of the solid line effect. Uh, so it's a very good thing. Again, just a little bit of power by coming up to the top. It also drains some from the sides. And maybe with this, uh, ooh, we just missed the breeding cycle. So I'm not going to worry about that breeder right now. We'll work on this corner just because that is a breeder that we can definitely get in the next few seconds. Uh, as you can see, the units are basically dismantling it. Uh, the breeder is done. Uh, we have taken it, I want to say. Uh, fairly well. Uh, maybe not all of it, but we've taken, like, majority of it. So I'm just going to leave that there, and hopefully maybe we can even start to get a little bit of this in the next, no, two seconds. No, we, we, we didn't even, didn't even do it, but we will for the next one, because we now control the zoom. So with the breeding going on, with this breeding going on, uh, I mean, it's, it's all over now. Uh, we are able to start pushing away from the mountain naturally. This will be breeding for us, which is only going to give us more uh, more pushing power. And that's going to cut this off, which will allow all the units to start to get built just just as, as we needed it to, right? Uh, let's make sure that doesn't die. Let's make sure this cannon doesn't die. And we are good. That cannon is going to, of course, be the most important one, because uh, it is going to hold the ground, but... And it's going to... Oh, there we go. This cannon, these two mortars, going to be perfect for us. Uh, it's just going to be completely swell. Uh, fingers crossed that this breeding does work, though. I figure that breeder would push it back a little bit more, although we are getting into the deeper of the creeper, as to be expected when the, when the creeper gets deeper. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we can check to see how the rest of the map is doing. Uh, we will... Oh, there is a lot of power there. Not a lot of power, but again, any power that you can get is good power, right? I mean, it's literally free, so just a quick little whoop right up to the top and over. That'll just give us just that little bit more pushing power. So, definitely, definitely a fan of that, and that cleans that up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and we even get some more cannons right on the front line. Perfect. Let's, let's take a look at the map. I'm just going to pause because, you know... It is all about the cursor here. So it looks like this is doing fairly well. Uh, these are, yeah, this area is doing perfect. Up here is just holding. We do have all the totems. So that's nice. Uh, oh, we can turn them off. Okay, so that's actually amazing. So we're going to be able to, maybe not right now, uh, but we will be able to uh, turn these off to allow our AC through uh, when we want. So when we start our actual assault, uh, we can very, I say very easily, but I would say very easily, turn this off, let the AC start to flow in. Um, that would be viable. Uh, I would love to do that. Uh, and yeah, I'd, 
don't know. I mean, we do have quite a lot here. Uh, it does seem like most of the creep is in this quadrant, although these are still rather large emitters. So going for them right away, would that be bad? Hmm. Hmm. Because the creep is, yeah, the creep is mostly on the outside. And the inside is definitely lower. Now, that, again, that being said, it's not the best, but would we even get beacons, I guess, is the next question, right? So if we wouldn't get beacons, then we're not going to be able to push. I know there is a large contingent, uh, if you want to call it that, of units over here. So if we could get those built, we could stand. Uh, but pushing through this, I don't know. You know, let's, let's give it a little shot. You know, worst case scenario, I'll lose a little bit of time. It's not the end of the world, but we can hopefully see how the AC stacks up against the creep on the side just a wee little bit, right? Uh, because, again, it is it does look to be a little bit thinner. So if we can uh, see what happens, uh, I'm hoping if we can make our way over. See? see, it is very thin. There really aren't that many in the way of units coming up. So unless a beacon is over here, if a beacon is over here, that might be all we need. Uh, that being said... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It is pushing back quite harshly, though. So, but we are taking some ground, and again, this this might be the uh, determining factor of a, a divergent path. Uh, I do hope so, but again, as we can see, the creep is just a little strong. Let's leave our pointer here. Turn it. Uh, change from top down. Yeah, our, our, we just don't have as much, and it's not flowing in as... It's not like there's a mesh here that's going to float in. So let's just turn these back on. It was a diversion. Uh, it was worth a shot. Not so much in the way of units to defend. If this unit set was actually up there, we, I think we'd be fine. But unfortunate, unfortunate. Now we do have a good unit set here. It is starting to push, naturally even. Um, and I think that's what we need to do. We need to actually work with our units, get to this emitter. Uh, is this em yeah. So we'll get to this emitter, get to this breeder. And work our way along. Of course, the, the big breeder in the back, or the creep-only breeder in the back, is slightly problematic. So let's uh, let's make sure we can stand against it. There we go, yeah. These, these units all coming up are just going to be uh, the driving force. It's not just the, the cursor itself. The breeders, are, or the units, are just pretty immense. You know, a mortar taking a shot, allowing the AC to fill it up. That's what it's all about right there. So, huck in the wall on this side, trying to move up all along it. Uh, we will get these up close and personal mortars. Uh, I should have paid a dungeon. I actually don't think I could see where the uh, the nullifier was, because I think most of these had creep initially around them. So, um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it for not knowing where the nullifier is. But we see the nullifier already. Uh, we see so many units. Uh, I'm just going to move past this then. Uh, again, the goal is to get to the breeder zone. Oh my, oh my, breeder zone. I love it. Uh, you gotta love it. I mean, it's it's the ultimate in friends, right? So, yeah, these are these are just pushing up really, really nicely. And honestly, hugging the wall is great. And with how many units are being placed, I am kind of curious where the next one will be. So that's why I'm now sort of spreading out from the wall because it's actually pretty unit heavy over here, and unit heavy is great. So if we can have anything pushing, uh, that just makes makes for a better, better time. And you can see, once things get built, I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily push itself, but it, it get, starts getting there. It starts getting there. Uh, and we have, oh no, we have two seconds. Oh, that mortar shot was grand. Uh, and we are officially breeding. We got a little bit of a breed going on there. About two seconds of it, three seconds of it. So I will take a three seconds on a half of one of these. Again, you're, you're taking it away from the creep, assuming they are able to, due to the creep cap, and you're just converting it to your own power. So it's literally just win, win, win on top of, like, three other wins. And I like multiple wins. So our breeding section is going to happen now, too, which is going to help push. And we're going back to a wall, but this time we are taking the outer edge, or the left edge, uh, to get to this breeding zone. Although, I mean, the inner is safer. I will, I will say, safer, and safety is good, um, but I'm still seeing units, so with units, uh, that feels pretty good. Uh, let's make sure we don't lose you, Capitan Cannon. Uh, so let's straighten this out, see if we can find anything coming. I would love a few more mortars. Actually, I'm going to work with the mortar here, so I am going back to the internet. 
I immediately turned against everything that I was saying. Because, uh, yeah, I do want that over there. Uh, but I saw where where the cannons were pushing at the moment, and you know you, you go with your friends. Your friends will steer you not wrong. Sometimes, I mean, they can't steer you wrong. But in this case, in this case, uh, they are the important factor here. So even though this creep is quite deep, it is at 12 or so. We are able to uh, easily outpace it, especially once the, now that the mortars are built. Uh, we can even see just everything getting. Uh, destroyed so hug this edge hopefully be able to hug the other edge as well uh, but you can see a much smaller gapping uh, or creation of units right so they are a little bit more spread out we do have some good connections though a good new row being put in place so that's actually going to be perfect 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 this mortar is actually not going to be a big friendo mortar uh it's not going to be bad by any means don't get me wrong it's just going to be shooting over here for probably the entire time which kind of set you know not useful for what we need it to. oh no it is it is shooting okay good 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 uh it will be able to shoot over there then uh, later on so that's good mortar friend you uh you were better than my expectations i thank you i thank you so kindly um, breeding coming up in one second, and we got at least, at least the main portion. Uh, and yeah, we got a tiny bit of the rest, so perfect, perfect, perfect. We now have our point of entry, of course. Another emitter over here. Don't really care about the emitters or so, but again, it's about pushing where your units are. And that's ultimately what it is, although we do want to get through that. It's all about where the units are. And where's a good flatland? This is a good flatland. So good flatlands generally are where units are also placed. I'm expecting maybe a mortar up over here. There's one right there. I'll take it. Is it exactly where I wanted it to be? Nah, I wanted it a little bit more further up, but that's okay. And of course, once the uh, M rift is done, oh, that's that's when things just get all the better, right? Because that M rift is just going to keep the power flowing uh, so much nicer. We're actually going to say, hey, we can build something, and it's already being built, you know. So that's going to be pretty substantially huge for us. Uh, and yeah, you can see we're definitely slowing down, especially where we're missing units. So getting these two, I think, is going to be our next big. Uh, gain with the M rift, we can already see them. Look at how fast that got built. Oh, gotta love your M rifts. A couple more cannons going down. Ooh, that even pushed over there, which is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the push continues. So now we're back to going towards our walls, holding our lines. There should definitely be some units up by this blue light. So again, it's a large flat surface. That's what I want. That's what I need to keep. Oh, they're pushing that just fine. So let them do that. I didn't stop moving my mouse when I do that, but, you know, it's it's only natural, right? It's a, a natural thing to try and point it out a little bit. So here's here's some mourners already. And again, through that M rift. Yeah, we have a nice contingent being built already. I mean, thankfully, we have more than enough energy, which is, which is nice. Um, never going to complain about all of the energy gains that we do indeed have. Uh, but we need that, I was going to say we need that cannon built, but we needed something to power up first, of course. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've basically pushed the wall. As you can see, it's a lot easier to push into the wall than anything else. We'll start crawling up the wall again, because we might as well get that uh, point up top. Which is not going to be too bad. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, they've just pushed up here by themselves, so good on them. <laughs> I mean, the AC is there as well. It's just it's just always nice to see that you, you almost get to the point where it's like, well, am I even needed anymore? You know, am I doing anything? Am I... Is my cursor uh, making the difference, or are they just going to handle it by themselves, right? Especially once you get more and more points of power. Uh, I mean, that's just going to push the AC everywhere. Uh, this is pushed all the way up there, which is grand. We do want that point of power. I also want to uh, expand the south. Uh, since we do have that little cross beam that we can get to, I want to get to that hilltop now. Uh, maybe take this and then go for it, uh, just because that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big one. Um, but we are still at the cap, which is good. Uh, I think we can try and take this, but yeah, like 
just getting the mortar up top will probably be pretty good. Just to help. Uh, again, I do see them uh, making some pretty good progress. But getting a couple units at the top, directly shooting that emitter, we'll just keep it there. So, I'm assuming there's probably going to be some more units on the edge. So let's just... Oh, there's the, even the nullifier. Happy days are here again. Uh, don't really... Again, I, I don't really care that this is pooping out creep. It's more of just a... It's a nicety. It's a thing that's happening. Um, we've essentially curtailed that entirely. Uh, once it's dead, though, it will give us the entirety of the uh, top surface. So hopefully we'll get some more mortars in the back, just like that. I would love, like, one or two over here, but apparently not. Uh, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, there's another one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, while that's actually taking itself, let's actually check out this bottom side, right? Let's see, can we progress across this to the top? Uh, I, I know I said there wasn't a connection, but maybe... Maybe there is... Well, I guess we would need to get to the point where we can connect. Uh, I was kind of hoping there would be... Yeah, it's just that. I really feel like this should... There should be a connection here somewhere. Uh, and I should have looked into it much more... But I guess not, and I guess it would be right there. That's probably what I would need. So I'd have to actually cross. Eh, I should have looked more into that earlier. I apologize. Waste of time. Waste of time. But that's okay. Uh, no connection points can be made over there. Not to mention we don't have AC that can be made over there. So nothing to worry about. Uh, the top, we're looking good. The corner will take itself, especially as we push. So we're just going to push. Uh, make sure we can hold things. This is a nice ridge to take and a great big flat area. So flat area plus ridge, high ground, flat ground. It's just gonna be good. Uh, we will, of course, cut off the creep, make our line all the straighter. I'm losing some things that are not yet built, which is fine. Uh, I just want to see where the towers are or not. So this big flat area... Like, this entire area, nothing. I mean, well, now we got a mortar, so yay. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, again, like, just was hoping for some stuff over there, you know, something along those lines. Uh, but this tower cannon, that's what we're really looking for. Just something to hold. Don't care about the trees. Don't care about the... really anything else. All we care about is just getting to... Uh, getting some creep done. So, with this cannon, with that mortar... Uh, we'll work our way up, that way the cannon can protect the mortar on the edge. And more units will be built, yes? Yes. Yes, they will. Okay, good. We're starting to get a couple more. Always at the mercy of the AI. Well, not the AI. I guess it's not an AI. It is just an auto-build. It's a preset uh, building setup. So that is what we are at the mercy of. And yeah, we will. We will manage. Uh, it's just... It just takes its time. Okay, so that's that. Really want this cannon. And that's going to push us to this, which will then lead us to the green arc, which leads us to the ultimate victory, because that's, uh, that's going to be some high ground. High ground, easier to push through. Uh, always, always, always. Low ground is the worst, which we're currently in. Uh, and we just missed a breeding cycle, or got the edge of it, depending on your perspective. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be taking this out. No problems. And once this puppy breeds for us, I think we're gonna be in a much better spot. I mean, we've taken a little under half, but with the breeding going out now, that should help us push to the rest. Uh, because even though it will be breeding the creep. Uh, the creep is also coming up elsewhere, and at the creep cap, you know, that means we're, we're actually making more out of this breeder than the creep is. Uh, pushing it all the way back, getting it to a nice halfway point, or more than halfway, I should say. Although, the creep does cometh again. Just want to hold this breeding zone. I think we've got pretty much all of it. It is breeding now, and you can see yeah, with with all of it. Uh, it's a good push on the north. It's a good push on the south and the west. And now we've held the ground. Ooh. It is coming in. Stop coming in. 
Wow, that is really coming in over here. Stop it. It is a little hard to see the different, the, like, creep line. Like, the exact edge. So that is another thing. There's our breeding. Uh, we've pushed them off entirely. Let's take the rest. Make sure our cannons are able to add more support. Again, just getting some mortars on the top uh, will help hold this because they'll be shooting into it, of course. So anything anything we can get that might be able to shoot in or prevent uh, more creep from surrounding, uh, as you can see, we can no longer come from the top anyway anymore. So all of that is just good for business. And there we go. Another cannon. Hold that line. The top shall fall. And that cannon can hold. And this pushes everything back. So, moving on up to the top. This should be a good area. Again, tops are usually good. So, and it's usually also very easy to take. So, let us see. We also need the connection point. Apparently there is no connection point right there. So we do need to see where the power is going to come from, unfortunately. Uh, and that is the new goal. So where is the power coming to get to the top? There we go. We have power to the top. That's all we're going to need. That's going to get us this mortar. It's going to get us a cannon. It's going to clear off the top. And again, just another point of holding, right? So there's the mortar. There's the cannon. They're coming back. They're getting juiced up. And the mortar starting to shoot will push everything very, very simply. Uh, and then the cannon, of course, will just be the big defense that it needs to be. No, no, no. No, no, no. Leave. Leave alone. Thank you. So let's take a, a side view. Okay. Yeah, well, that's still quite a lot of creep. Uh, we are not yet under the creep cap. So that is good for us. Again, uh, as we get under the creep cap, uh, it just gets more and more creep where we don't want it. Uh, or it will non-stop produce, I guess is the easiest way to, to put it. So I don't want that non-stop production. Uh, I like it to see when, when production is stopped. It's actually kind of nice. So, But look at this top ground. Again, high ground. Very easy to take. So not unless the... What's that one, though? That's a bit of a shame. But there we go. Three or four cannons, a mortar. <clears throat> They're all coming up. Ooh. You be, you be safe, sir. Uh, and friendo needed to be safe, too. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's let's take a, a grander scale. Uh, we do want that emitter, of course. Uh, I think the stash is probably more important. Uh, this emitter... And down here, also going to be important, of course. Uh, I do think if we can work our way to get to that, it's going to be uh, more important than getting anything else, especially getting like that emitter and anything like that. So we do want to just keep our pushing going. And do we want just the edge? Are we going to see more units built down here? Again, nice flat area. So this is also a good assault point because it's, you know, so, yeah, we're getting some more units down here. Don't, don't take that. Let's keep the corner. Now that's ours. Ooh, and that leads to a Kanan. B or Mortar. That's it. So, we do have that most fantastic. Gotta love it. And, yeah, I think I think we're just going to continue our, press, our pressure. Uh, maybe we want that emitter down. Uh, if... If we were at the creeper cap, the emitter is, again, far more important. Um, or not at the creeper cap. The emitter is far more important. At creeper cap, the emitter is less important. Still important, don't get me wrong. It's just not as important in the grand scheme of things, right? Because comparatively, uh, shutting down creeper production doesn't do as much as it does when we're actively eliminating all creep on the map. So I'm not as important. Uh, you know, I'm not as like, oh my god, we need to do this. I very much just want some units to pressure the uh, the deeper of the creeper, like this mortar. This mortar is going to be doing all the work, has its defensive cannon involved. Open for another one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now our high ground is paying off. Uh, these mortars, this cannon, 
Uh, they're going to do fantastic work. I did lose the mortar down below, which is a shame. It is a shame. We do need to guard these until they are built, shooting, and established. But now that they're built, they're starting to, to pop off a little bit. Uh, energy is going. I think now they should be able to defend themselves. So, good, good, good. Well, maybe not. Oh, my. That creep is so deep. And... Yeah, see, this is leveled out nicely, uh, just with the pressure of this and the cannons that are being built, so I think that's our next goal, staying towards a wall. Flat area, looks like if it wants to push this way naturally as well, uh, I want it to push this way. That was a bit of a, a no-no right there, but these mortars coming down. I guess we're going from the top down. Oh man, every decision I'm making today, it's just, just backwards. Uh, every single one. And that's okay, that's okay, you know. It's always it's always good to readjust your plans. It's good to have a plan, you know, so you can uh, say this is kind of what I'm going for. But, you know, not being so so adhered to it that you don't readjust. There's the nullifier. Uh, it will help relieve some pressure from the front lines. Again, uh, I... I would have just been happy with just more and more cannons <laughs> and and mortars <laughs> um, than nullification itself. Uh, but, hey, uh, just these cannons and things relieve a lot of pressure themselves, and this should now be able to hold quite, quite the betterly. And can we rebuild any of those mortars that were over here? That one is in the corner, so that might be rebuilt. This one over here might be built as well. It's just that corner. And yeah, there. there's still too much pressure. <clears throat> but we have this contingent here, and now we're moving our way past. Fingers crossed there's some units. Assuming there are, again, nice flat ground. Also, around an emitter. Uh, you'll, they'll generally allow you to surround it in units too, so thank you, Auto Builder. I appreciate your service uh, that you are doing. Might need another Amrift coming up. Not soon, but in the near in the near times. So what do we want? What do we want? Of course, we want everything. Uh, again, we're still not uh, really under the cap. We're getting close, I think. I think we're getting to the point where we are about to start to lose our grasp of uh, of creeper cap and that's a, that's a that'll just be a good thing at this point i mean anything we destroy at that point is effectively good you know we're not fighting up against the wall i do prefer when there is a cap it allows you to push certain areas faster um but fingers crossed we can just manage to hold our little sides like right here there's there's got to be a new unit set, right? They want... Because we're going to want to hold this line, but the line is being held back here, which is too far away. So where are the new units? Uh, are we just slightly off? Or is it one of those, we need to take that in order to do it? And if we do, I mean, there should be some units down here to take it. Okay, I like cannon. That's a good unit. To, that's a good unit. Another nullifier. So if there's another nullifier... While we don't care about that, I'm assuming there's going to be more protective things for it than just a single cannon. So, does that mean there are more down here? Please have more down here. Please, units. I mean, there's so much energy. And the rule is if you hit 100 energy, and you're not doing anything with it, you're wasting it. So, look at that, there's no units on this entire block. Ugh, it's sad. But is it just a little bit further out? That's the, th that's the greed coming. It's like, okay, well, maybe it's just that little bit further. Maybe it's like right here or right here. And we just want that one unit, you know, a cannon that starts pushing a little bit. That moves into the next thing. That starts pushing to the next thing. It's all about finding that unit. Um, I mean, the top side could be the wrong side. Again, this is a nice flat area. A lot of units could go there. Like this Mortar. That's a good one. <laughs> so getting started on a new line, I think, is important. Now, this mortar cannot stand on its own. 
and that's also important, is the fact that just a mortar is not going to be enough. So, all the way to the top, no cannon. Uh, a mortar that's going to be nice, but not stand on its own. Maybe there's a cannon in front of it, just to protect it. A lot of mortars come with cannon support. So, help, please. Like, we've cleared out a good area in front of it. No cannon. Hmm. This is actually a little bit of a... Oh, there's the cannon. Okay. This is, this is a good start to the next push. Oh, and there's another mortar. Okay. So, guard this cannon. Guard this mortar. We now have the start of a new pushing line. That's what we wanted to see. I say guard this cannon. I mean, you gotta make it so it rebuilds the cannon. There we go. So now we have two mortars and a cannon. That's now going to push quite nicely. Uh, or at least hold. Uh, hold and push. We're going to take that as well. Uh, especially with the added pressure from the top. So the top won't be nearly as uh, of a hindrance, I should say. Uh, and look at this. Yeah, this is the line. We found the line. Another cannon going down. That's all we needed. We just needed to find where that line was. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gets us another cannon. Gets us another cannon. Uh, that's what it's all about. You find you find that one spot, that one line. There's that emerf that I was talking about. Um, you know, we're not breeding yet, so I guess we'll uh, keep searching this line because we can get things like another mortar or two. Uh, again, that will just hold that much better. Uh, we're breeding in a few seconds now, so let's uh, see if we can get on in here get that breeding going for us uh, and it looks like we got most of it that's all I care about right we'll get this cannon to uh, now that we've gotten the breeder which allows us to push and we're we're fairly consistently on now uh, we are staying at the 7.5 however we're not I, I want to say going below it but we're not uh, hitting the off switch as much or at all i'm not sure if it even is I'm trying to keep moving my mouse while glancing down at that point so so that's just good news all around uh, we can hold the spot keep moving out we want to take that of course don't really care too much about that area again it's all about what we kind of care about um, right, that cannon is good that is good Ooh, that cannon is very good that's what we're looking for anything that's going to help sustain this one area. Thankfully that mortar is doing work, but it is doing work in the lower side, which, you know, we're not going there, so it doesn't matter, but yeah, the uh, the creep is officially at 7.4 and diminishing, so huzzah for us, the diminishment is happening, and yeah, I'm, uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take it out. Um, yeah, I guess we want to push down here just to hold this, hold our walls, even though there is going to be some darkness. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad to, to sort of hold now, because uh, a lot of the pressure from the creep is now coming just from there. So if we can cut that off and grab this top, uh, there'll be a new line. That way. We, we're getting the top for you. There we go. Gorgeous. That's everything. And thankfully, once these are built, we don't have to care about that because that is what the towers can do. It's not what we can do; it's what the towers can do for you. Oh. It is about what the towers can do. They just have to get built first, of course. <laughs> um, there we go. So let's get our stash on. By that, I mean sort of kill the stash, of course. Uh, but we will work it by pushing in the line, because if this mortar gets a cannon, gets a cannon reinforcement, then all the better. Uh, Emrift looks like it's operational, which is just very good news. Uh, the cannon up and at him. Woke up. More cannons involved. 
And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna just push into this. And this starts pushing out by its up by itself on its own. Feels pretty good. So yeah. Uh, let's just keep this going. Oh, and a double mortar. And another camp. <laughs> So once you see like the units starting to come in, that's that's what it's all about. Just the, the double mortar, the cannon, they're gonna do all the work that we need to take out this uh, breeder zone with a stash. Another mortar going down. You know, you can just see the the units pushing back just as much as we are. So yeah, there's not too much. Although it is breeding time, so I'm not gonna move here for breeding time because it is their breeding only. So I don't care about taking more ground. I just wanted to uh, make sure they were not going to destroy, say, that cannon uh, in time. As our entire line is now pushing uh, up against them. So we're finally, finally near the dark zone. Officially. Which is good. Uh, we will need this emitter down. I think that's going to be our next target. Uh, of course, with the breeder. Um, but we are also going to work our way up a little bit. So it looks like this is an, a top side. And again, hold your tops, right? So if we can take this, they can make a, a little contingent and hold. I mean, look at that. That's two cannons and two, three mortars. Yeah, that's uh, that's something that we, we really want built, right? <laughs> so that that's just going to do its thing. It's going to work very well in our favor. And that's going to, again, just relieve that pressure down here. So, zoom on in, and we will curtail this. Luckily, there's loads of units in the area. Uh, this just has no hope anymore. Uh, and we're only making more units, which is amazing. There's a good amount of units for this, uh, this zone of uh, Creeper Breeder. So, keep them from breeding as much as possible in the set, because we don't want that to impact our Kanans. It looks like the breeding is happening. We're getting a bit down below, but the top didn't really do anything, so huzzah for us. It is a shame that they don't build a beacon over there. Uh, I mean, it's the AI. We have plenty of greener in the bank. You might as well build a beacon. One of those types of things, right? But uh, not quite, not quite. Now we're, we're heading towards another emitter as well. I'm assuming there's going to be a load of units in this area. So I want to get some of those. Take that out. Take out the emitter. And move on over. So let us see. Am I right in thinking there's going to be a unit or two right there? There is a mortar. Huzzah. Um, will there be a cannon defense just next to it? I mean, I'm assuming. Step one is get mortar. Ooh, double mortar. Take it. I will take it. Uh, and that cannon is nice too, of course. So, we'll also take that. But this mortar is going to need some defense. Same thing with this one. Although, once they start shooting, it will help drastically, and we will start pushing down here again, with the help of the cannons. Uh, yeah, that mortar underwater right away. Right away. Uh, so, you know what? We'll let it be. We'll let it be. Because uh, we're getting some cannons down here. Uh, taking this out will just take that push away. Uh, or give it to us, I should say. So, there we go. We are in with a mortar. Breeding cycle happening. Again, every 30 seconds. I think you can change... You can definitely change the, the delay on breeding cycles. So it's not every map will have it at 30 seconds. But I think, I mean, probably like 90% of them. That's that's how it is. So I know when I made the uh, the big 1,000 video, I altered the breeding cycle for that AC breeder, uh, so it would just start uh, popping off right away. <laughs> uh, so little bit of learning going on uh, from time to time. I am capable of learning. Uh, it's hard to believe myself, uh, but it did happen. So huzzah for that. So good, we're gonna get this. Ooh, we're gonna get that cannon too. That's the cannon I was looking for before. Uh, and th see, there is one there. I could have sworn that was clear. Maybe it was cleared for like half a second. And same thing with that. But it didn't get the uh, the placement down 
from the AI in time, and then I let it get covered back up, because I could have sworn some of those were uncovered at the time. So, I'm not upset, I'm just sad. I'm just sad. So, let's move our line up, maybe get another cannon or mortar up over here, there. It would be nice. Not so much in the way that we can defend with it right now. There's the cannon that I was talking about. And this will get us that mortar back with a bit of defense. So. And the nullifier. I mean, again, now we're in where nullifiers are incredibly important. So, huzzah for nullifiers. Wow, this is able just to cleave through this now. Our power has definitely grown quite substantially. Uh, like, we should be able to sort of start working our way over here, too. Which is actually kind of nice. I am... Still blown away that there was no connection point from here to there. I would have loved that. Uh, but this is interesting because we do have a lot that we're taking. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we can't get power to it. But it is good to see. You know, it's good to see that there's a couple of mortars and stuff up there. So knowing that, we're going to just move on in. Uh, try and get this. We get this. And again, this entire area then dies out. So. We're at the, the tail end, uh, as it were. We just need to take out this. That, I, while that is a decent emitter, I think that will essentially just die on its own uh, once we take out uh, these two... Oh, three breeders. Oh, jeez. Why did I not go for this earlier? That was a big mistake. If we had taken this out, this entire area would, like, crumble. But we're going to take out this high ground while it's breeding, because uh, it's breeding. Uh, it's bad for business, but now that's not breeding, uh, we'll take it out. Uh, and we also easily took a high ground that we had access to, so... Yeah, we're, we can see the breeder starting to flip already. It's gorgeous. There we go. It's a little less than half, but already a huge proportion. Uh, and then again, as we can see, we have taken that, which is only going to add to the devastation of the enemy. And last but not least, we'll be to turn off the totems after this, of course, as well. I mean, we don't need those totems on if we're pure assault mode, uh, which we could probably do right now. I mean, we have plenty of power. We have the, the resources. We have the units. Uh, we have pretty much all the breeders at our disposal. So, there we go. That breeding really, really thins that out. The last area is just cutting everything else off. Is that another emerald? Oh, that's nice. Huzzah. I am a fan. So I'm going to cut this down. Again, cut it to the edge. Ideally, we'll start making some troops around here. Like that. Just like that. And that's going to be perfect. That'll hold this. That'll get us that breeder. It's breeding right now. It's going to cause some strife. But uh, with some canons in the way... We will, uh, we will prevail. Let's make sure I can get powered. Gorgeous power is achieved. And breeding happened in five. So, looks like we're going to be able to take this out before the breeding happens. Which means the rest of the map is ours. I mean, there's one breeder there. Don't even, we don't even care about that breeder. Uh, all we care about is just getting this connection, getting this high ground, and I think the map will sort itself out from there. Uh, I, honestly, the entire map will sort itself out from there, theoretically. There is still quite a bit of a pushback, but at the same time, if uh, we release the AC, uh, as you can see, I mean, that's actually pushing in over there, which is quite nice for itself. This high ground, with all of the AC that we're going to be having, I think we'll just naturally take that, and then with all of the AC breeders and things, that's just going to naturally get taken there as well. So, I think this top right side, or bottom, top left, top right, it's been a very long week. 
<laughs> yeah, that is just pushing naturally, which is great for us. Uh, let's see how th big that is. That is still pretty big. Uh, and I do still want to drop those, but we'll drop those once we uh, once we assist this. We'll push on in, we'll get a beacon, we'll connect at the zones, and then we'll drop the shields. Uh, just allowing some more creep. You know, uh, we can see that they are pushing back uh, over here, but yeah, that's, that's fine. That's going to be fine. Oddly enough, though, there's still half half of the creep is still basically here. I mean, a little bit less, but in, in essence, half of the creep. Get that off. Get this something built over here. No, nothing built. That's all we care about. We just care about getting something built. Like that cannon. That cannon is glorious. Uh, I'll take another one. I'll take another mortar. I'll take a... I'd say a beacon, but I don't care about a beacon quite yet. I just want to be able to hold here. Like, right there should be a unit. But we'll take the mortar. That's slightly to the, to the right of it. I'll take it. It works. It gets the job done. Hopefully. Do it. Right, you're built. Good. Ooh, something that was built got destroyed. That's actually a surprise. You know, I can understand things that aren't built getting destroyed, but the fact that it, it got to a point where it was able to be built and then got destroyed is actually pretty impressive. Because uh, that means they pushed in, or the AC pushed in, and the emitter itself just emitting was too much for it. Or may, I mean, okay, no, it was probably the the breeder, the split breeder, uh, which means they're at the split breeder, basically, so that's actually good news. Uh, they were trying to build on it or something along those lines. So, the beacon, I think we're basically good for beacon town, probably somewhere around here, and yeah, that's, that's gonna be very, very nice. You can do it. I mean, I like the units, though. I do like the units, but we are ready for beacon town. Or units. Units is fine. Hold it. Uh, and beacons. Success. Okay, with the beacon, that's going to allow... Obviously allow us to push in. Uh, but it's also going to give us the greater option to get towards the starter zone. And the greater option to get to the starter zone means we can shut down the shields. I am tempted to shut them down right away, like right now, and just let things flow. It may take some ground, but it will also thin out more creep. Uh, because if more flow over here and these actually all get engaged, that's actually going to kill more creep than anything else. So let's, yeah, let's let's shut down our... Uh, our shields, you know. Release the, the AC. I was going to say release the creep, but I guess we're releasing the creep too. A bit of both, a bit of both. That beacon is ridiculous. It's literally like touching the other one. <laughs> uh, sometimes, sometimes. Oh, it's amazing. But there we go. Uh, oh, might let them take take too much. What was it? A cannon? It was a cannon. I think, right? that. Let's keep this pushing. It's a little bit slower than I would like. I figured we would have a little bit of an easier time once we got to this stage. Uh, just because it is working. Uh, let's do a quick little look-see. Yeah, see? Everything has been taken over. Uh, that top left section with the emitter, completely gone. Uh, the good news for us, uh, it, just, it just worked. So... Connect up via the other side. It's actually easier to go from this side, oddly enough. That connects that up. This pushes this back a little bit. Maybe we can even push over here, because if there are units... I remember I was pushing over here before, but I wasn't able to really take that much land. So if we can actually start to take the land, this is better, because we want to get to that as soon as possible. Ideally, I would love, like, five or six units right there, plus a beacon. 
and we can uh, take out the split breeder. But it's not, you know, again, it's not quite uh, looking like without any other units pushing is the problem is we don't have that, that push on the side. Uh, or even a defense, right? That's, I guess, the bigger thing is there's no actual defense here. We need a unit in order to hold this, and we're not getting a unit. I find it hard to believe that there's gonna be no unit. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. I just took it all back. I, you know? I really want to do something sneaky or something like that. I keep trying for it. It's just, it's just not in the cards today. Some days. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Uh, but the mortars are working good. The AC is flowing in nicely from the main base, which is helpful. Uh, in holding, and there we go. We even have a few more units coming down. Nice. Ooh, a lot of units coming down. See, that's what I want. Over there. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Uh, appar uh, apparently it's a bit too much to ask. It happens, it happens. Uh... And this beacon will be a huge connection, because that's going to remove pretty much all the darkness between the between the sections. So that's what we really, really want. I mean, we're pushing to this emitter faster than anything else, which is fine. Don't really... Again, I was really hoping to get to over there more than the emitter, but the units are over here. So we got to go with the units. They are pushing. They are able to sustain... So that will also allow us to do some cutoffs, and cutoffs will push this line forward as well. So, double duty. So we'll do some of that, push this line back. And that's going to be quite nice. Hopefully we'll get a lot of more units. Uh, we got at least a beacon. A couple of beacons. We got a lot of beacons. They are very beacon heavy. Which is nice better to have uh, too many than too few in that regard. Uh, that beacon reaches that. That will connect up this too, which is also kind of nice. Uh, oh, it's just shy. And look at this. A dead zone of units. Which is surprising. Again, I, I'm very surprised that there's dead zones of units in this, this final section. Uh, the nullifier is going down, and that's going to take out like 40% of their creep generation. I want to say 50% because that's still generating some, um, but not nearly as much as a 300 and a, uh, a 350. Push that side back, push that side back, and we'll push back that middle. Uh, I guess we're just going straight for the Dark Tower. I wasn't even planning on going straight for the Dark Tower, but I guess that's what we have to do if you're doing the Dark Tower push. I wanted this just to connect up, of course. Uh, it just wasn't in the card, so to speak. Alright, be going. What's the next cannon? What's the next Mortaire? Uh, it's a pylon. So many unbuilt things. Cannon Mortaire? Yes. Oh, good. We do get our connection. Huzzah! We have officially connected up the joint sides. Ah, much success. Uh, it's still using MRF technology to get to that side, but we're able to actually get to the side via the uh, I mean, the just just the side. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just get to the side via the side. Uh, it's just that easy. Um, we're finally able to actually, like, push into here, uh, which is good. However, there's not... Uh, there's a beacon. There's just not a lot of units again. Uh, don't care about going for the Dark Tower as much as long as this keeps uh, the pressure, because getting to the breeding zone gets us some breeding. Getting us some breeding is good. Uh, so that will be good when we are going to be breeding now. It's not that much, but at the same time, it takes away from all of them. All of their brood, I should say. Uh, and, yeah. Let's see if there were any units over here to begin with. Once this is uh, dealt with, that will die. 
and we can officially, officially, officially separate. So we can start taking the breeder out. It's gonna be good. Come on. Just want a bit more. I find it hilarious how much stuff is just blown up. There's the breeding cycle. So that's good. Uh, hold our walls, and yeah, there's like no units down there. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. Because we could have got, like, if we just got, like, one or two units early, and we're starting to push, and, well, I mean, there had to have been a beacon there, too. But it would have been a really neat little push if you felt you could do, were powerful enough for that, right? Where you are able to take out uh, the final area prior to the end. And holy moly, they need to stop blowing that up. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's like something that's getting built over here. Yeah, okay, it's over there, yeah. It just keeps getting destroyed. And leaving for a second, of course, means the breeder is uh, taken back quite substantially. But yeah, they, uh... That's kind of stuff. I get it. They're trying to build a pylon. I love the pylon. It's great. It does amazing stuff. But... It's not doing so hot right now. Uh, the Dark Tower, I mean, look at that. They've actually basically pushed to the Dark Tower, which is good. And by us taking this, uh, this is where the uh, the fight ends again. I, I'm pretty sure at this point, especially once we take this officially, um, there really isn't anything they can do to stop us from overwhelming the, uh, the last emitter just with, you know, the units themselves. So we're even just going to be pushing the Dark Zone. Hello. Why is this not building an nullifier? Uh, there it is. Okay. Good. There is the nullifier. Alright, so we have one up here is nice. Uh, again, if honestly, if there was a sprayer here, I think that would have been amazing. Again, another little thing that they could have done. Have a sprayer here, so some AC could potentially get to this side, and we could actually take this earlier and maybe get to this high ground or something along those lines. Like right now we are going for that high ground, like we're just going to move our AC around this way. Uh, but imagine having that as a, a potential assault option earlier in the map, right? I think that'd be very, very cool. So there we go. We'll take this top. Uh, bazinga, bazinga. Let's cut it all off. Thank you, Pylon. For your service a number of times over. There you go. You will no longer be destroyed, Senior Pylon. Oh, I didn't realize there was a breeder there. Good to know, good to know. And yes, the rest of the map falls to the might of the combined forces of the Alliance. Conglomerate? just the few people in space not sure on custom maps you know i mean every single one is different so i guess it is whatever you want it to be if it's not purposefully established you know yeah so many units so much pushing oh wow there's the nullifier well that really makes things easy We don't let it just go, like I tend to do. But there's so many units around it, right? It should be fine. We just want to make sure there's no creep left over once it essentially pops and gets taken out. So, looks like it's pretty good. Nothing else going on. And there that is Yakam 3 Oof, that was, uh, took me longer than I expected. So, yeah. A lot of fun, though. I really, again, I wish there were a little bit more strategy elements to it, where we could have taken out this area earlier, taken that out earlier. Um, there's the pylon to this side. So, you know, maybe there was a way that I, where I could have done that. Um, 
but at the same time, there's really not that many. I mean, there's a couple. Like, these mortars would have been nice, but there isn't. It's not, like, super flooded where it would have started taking things on its own. So I don't think uh, I don't think that pylon ever would have really helped. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, lots, of, lots of places where I would have liked to see more interaction like that. But big, uh, big fan of the map. I think the maps are great. Had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Um, oh, wow. Oh, uh, what do we do? 101? So, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was I was like, oh man, this is going to be a really bad time. But you know what? It worked out. Uh, super happy. Hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you next time. Take care.